look if you cook look if you cook look 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 look, look. if you cook well i'm a bad toting veggie holding sister in these cooking streets mixing with the chopper and then i'm turned up in this kitchen seat i walk in the store shaking my bag shopping in produce and chicken price tags plants is relevant cooking my residence got another meal so let's get into that <laughs> girls <laughs> y'all know i come with the vibes every tuesday <laughs> i love saying that so before i get into what we're whipping up in the kitchen today i need y'all to do two things one subscribe to my channel and tap that noti hey tap tap that noti what that girl say tap 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 in <laughs> Anyways, let me stop. Today, we are going to be making my shredded chicken flatbread pizzas. But we are making this bad boy two ways, okay? We are using a white sauce and we are using a red sauce. We ain't making identical pizzas, we are making fraternal pizzas. Ooh, twins. <laughs> Guys, this dish is so good. It's one of my favorite meals to make from time to time. The toppings, just everything combined is so amazing. You are going to love this recipe, trust me. So, let me start talking so we can get the cooking. All right, let's get into it. What's in your bed this week, sis? We got some kale, vegan flatbread pizza crust, Wanna know what we say in the club? Hey, baby, please. <laughs> I got time today. <laughs> got some melanated mushrooms, put your hands up. Got some melanated mushrooms, put your hands up. Violite feta cheese. Slithered almond. Mm-hmm. Hey, plant-based butter. Oh, <laughs> nutritional yeast. Cooking with lemon juice. Lay back. Gotta have some great tomatoes. Some jackfruit, hey, hey. Some pizza swag sauce. Pitted and sliced olives. The oil that comes from olives. <laughs> sea salt, hey. Vegan, chicken, seasoning, oh. T-Bob's left out red pepper chili flakes. <laughs> One yellow bone onion. Gotta have that fresh garlic. Unsweetened original plant-based milk. Melanated pepper, cup and candy sweetened no, oil, let me see a tissue roll, paprika, and garlic powder. So first we're gonna get Club 375 preheated. Then after draining and rinsing our jackfruit in cool water, we are gonna start de-seeding it. After that, you're gonna start squeezing it like you're trying to get the last bit of toothpaste out. And then you're just gonna go through it again just for a final checkup and to give it more of a shredded look. Woo woo, time to season, baby. So we're gonna take a fourth cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of our vegan chicken seasoning, half a teaspoon of red pepper chili flakes. <laughs> Since I got time today, I'm gonna add one teaspoon up in that thing. Mix it all up real nice and good. Then I'm gonna take a few of my bay leaves, add it in there as well. And lastly, add in a teaspoon of paprika. After rinsing our kale, we're gonna split that thing like a cheerleader. Then we're also gonna start taking off the leaves because we don't want thick stems in this. This kale is way too huge, you need to cut it. Make sure you cut it down to smaller pieces and then you're gonna set it aside in a bowl. Next, you're going to thinly slice your melanated mushrooms. And now we're gonna start giving our great tomatoes some play. And start slicing them up as well. I slice these into four. Now you're gonna grab your yellow bone onion and slice that thing up as well into thin pieces. And you're also gonna take your fresh garlic cloves and start peeling off the skin. Hey, all right, let's keep this thing moving. So now we're gonna start blackening our shredded chicken, quote unquote. So we're gonna add some plant-based butter and fresh garlic cloves into our pan. And then, you know, we're just gonna drop off our shredded jackfruit like we voting by mail. And we're gonna keep flicking our wrist with it until we get some melanation on it. So right now I'm just letting it pat down and sear onto it because I really wanna get more of that blackish, you know, like blackened look to it, okay? And it should look just like this. 
next we're going to start working on our kale so we're going to add a little bit of butter and some fresh garlic cloves again into the same cast iron skillet we use for our shredded jackfruit the reason i am cooking everything into this pan right now because i really want some flavors that we had on our jackfruit to be sucked up by our kale okay so now i'm making it rain with some sliced onions and putting that in there as well and i'm adding salt and I'm also gonna add some garlic powder to taste in this bad boy. We really want these flavors through and through, y'all. And you're also gonna add some black pepper as well. Hey, time for our melanated mushrooms to get some play, baby. So we're just gonna add them in that cast iron skillet. Again, we want all those flavors to be stuffed up in here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do some salt and some garlic powder to taste with these. Hey, time for that white sauce, okay? So you're gonna take a half cup of our unsweetened original plant-based milk, and then we're gonna start breaking up our feta cheese like a brawl at school, <laughs> okay? And drop that whole thing in there, and then you're just gonna take a whisk, and you know, just keep whipping it around till that thing get thicker than a snicker. And finally, you're gonna take your pizza swag sauce and add it in a pan with a little bit of butter, and just mix it around, and just add in a little bit of basil. Hey, almost to the finish line, getting my groove on. And look at me, spilling stuff. But it is what it is. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So now we are working on our vegan ricotta cheese. So I'm taking a half cup of water, a little over two teaspoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one and a half cups of our slithered almonds. Dump that thing up in there. And I'm also adding in a couple cloves of fresh garlic and some fresh basil and oregano from my garden. Ooh, woo! And now I'm adding in a little over half a teaspoon of sea salt and one teaspoon of our red pepper chili flakes. And finally, you're gonna make it blend like where's Waldo? And then you wanna check it. You could add a little bit of water, like a tiny bit of water at a time just to make sure that it's getting a little bit on a creamier side and not too gritty and then when it's done it should look just like this alrighty then so now you're gonna take your flatbread pizza crust you're gonna grab some olive oil and lightly brush it like some b2b now I am going in with my red sauce option first and spreading it on top writing my name in cursive whoa whoa whoa, whoa baby make sure it's spread out perfectly on top then you know you're just gonna make it rain with your sauteed kale and onion sprinkle it around you want to make sure it's nice and even throughout you don't want more on one side and less on the other and then now i'm just sprinkling on our chopped grape tomatoes next i'm going in with our sliced mushrooms again the main thing is just making sure everything is even throughout so with every bite you get that flavor so now i'm just adding on our blackened shredded chicken topping Oh, that thing looks sensational, baby. And then I'm just going to add a couple dollops of our vegan ricotta cheese. And I almost forgot the black olives. Can't miss the black olives. Moving on to the white sauce, our other fraternal twin. <laughs> so again, just spread it on top. And we're going to go through the same layer process as we did with our red sauce option. So sprinkling on that sauteed kale and onions putting on our chopped grape tomatoes and our sliced of melanated mushrooms Ooh, baby and again just finishing off with our vegan ricotta cheese and our sliced olives once we're done with our toppings we're going to put them in club 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes let's get into it okay we have to cup cup it cup it okay Yes, my auntie will be so proud. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with this meal this evening. May it nourish my body and may it bless my palate. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 So first, I am going to dive in. I'm about to dive in. Oh, oh. I'm going to go with the side that has the dollop of ricotta. So here we go. Been down. It's not delivery. <laughs> it's too. Mmm. Uh oh. I'm sorry. That's good right there. 
Thank you, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it. I'm going with the one with the white sauce. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, hey. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one tastes better because they're both equally fired. This twin came to match this twin energy. They may not be identical, but baby, they are identical in flavor. <laughs> Guys, you are really going to enjoy this. I'm telling you, you are not going to want to order out for pizza ever again. <laughs> With that being said, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoy my content and if you are enjoying the recipes I'm sharing with you guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and tap that noti bell. Also, make sure you click down below and like this video. Also, I want to hear from you. Post down in the comments below on what you would like to see me make next for you all, okay? Because just know, two got your back for sure, okay? Two got your back for sure, oh. And that's it. It's time to go. Two got your back for sure. Hey. <laughs> Bye, y'all. See y'all next Tuesday at 6.